This is Danny Mullen. He's a YouTuber with over half a million subscribers. Danny's been doing some really awful things to one of my good friends, Brandon. It's time that I step in and finally make things right for my friend. So I have created a list of demands for Danny. And if Danny doesn't meet those list of demands, then I will use all of the money from this GoFundMe link I've created, link in the description, to end Danny Mullen's YouTube career once and for all. So why am I doing this? Brandon's a good friend of mine. You've probably even seen him in some of my past videos. Pretty much, Danny Mullen has made Brandon Buckingham's life Life, complete hell for the past six months. He's still fucking with me, trying to recruit my friends to go against me, who's trying to ruin my YouTube career. If you're interested in hearing about that, Brandon has an hour-long video where he breaks it all down. Brandon decided to end his hour-long video with a grand finale stunt. I'm a this man. Hot prank. Danny now completely threatened, decides to invite one of Brandon's filming friends onto the podcast, which was me. I was the friend. So I'm gonna give you a little bit of context of why this is a very strange situation. Because up until this point, this is actually the nicest comment that Danny has ever said about me. Reckless in Ben, the, I wanted to park his van in my garage and leave the engine running. What? He would die of carbon monoxide poisoning. I'm very aware of that. You want him to, to die in your garage of carbon monoxide poisoning? What good does he do to this earth? But all of a sudden, I like what you've been doing. He's been doing some very eccentric, very original content on YouTube. What else is a little strange is that I was told I was being brought on the podcast to talk about the demo house party I just threw with Bam Margera. But in reality, the house party wasn't brought up once. Instead, I sat on the couch completely silent the majority of the time while Danny and Leo talked absolute crap about my friend Brandon. Ben, we're going to talk about this Brandon thing. Please don't ask for background information. Now I have a tough decision to make. Make. Do I stand by my friend Brandon or do I join Danny Mullen's side to gain the extra subscriber? You know what? I'm not taking a stance. I feel like I was tricked into being here. Brandon is now absolutely pissed. So a few days later, he releases his own video showing how pretty much everything that Danny Mullen said on his podcast was just an absolute lie. I will address each and every one of these claims directly with video evidence, screenshots of texts, and direct messages. And man, oh man. Are you guys gonna realize that these two Beavis and Butthead doppelgangers are some serious, serious liars? So I commented on what I thought was an accurate response. Yo, I was honestly scared when I saw you put this out, but it actually ended up being pretty funny. I can't wait to see how Danny responds. I was very excited when I posted this comment because I knew that I- But then I got a FaceTime call. I'm gonna keep him anonymous for this video. This guy said he was just on the phone with Leo and Leo was not happy about the comment I posted. And I was kind of confused because I felt like my comment was accurate. It wasn't hateful in any way. And I end the comment by saying I'm willing to hear Danny out on his side of the story. I don't see anything offensive at all. But I was told that if I don't instantly delete my comment, comment, Leo and Danny will destroy my entire YouTube career. So I, I took down the comment. As you can guess, I am extremely confused. Best thing to do is call Leo and just hear what he has to say. But I also know that this phone call will make incredible YouTube content. The problem is California state law says that both parties of the phone call must consent to the video being recorded. There's no way that Leo's gonna consent to this phone call being recorded. But after a little bit of research, I found out you know what it is a one party consent state? Nevada. Now we're road tripping to Nevada so we can legally record this phone call. Oh my God. Oh my God. It is now time to make this phone call to Leo. Oh wait, no, I'm still in California. I, mean, I gotta go to Nevada. Okay. Now it is time to make this phone call. I am now in a one party consent state and I'm giving full consent. Your call has been. Leo Dottavio is too afraid to talk to me right now. We came out all the way to Nevada Three, one, for this. Get back in the car. Guys, Leo just texted me. What's up? So he definitely has his phone on him. Rang once. Come on, Leo, answer me! Get back in the car, Mino! Trip's over! Then we were like, yo, we're pretty close to Vegas. We might as well party a little bit, right? <laughs> Enough partying. Let's see if Leo's ready to talk. It's the next day. Calling Leo again. Take two. To an automated voice messaging system. The heck? Now Leo's trying to contact me through some of the members of the Danny Mullen crew. But I don't want to talk to the members of the Danny Mullen crew. They're not the ones that wanted me to take my comment down. If Leo wants to have an actual conversation with me, then let's send it. I'm down and I'll hear out Leo's side. Because that's all I want to do is hear out Leo's side. But he's not letting me hear his side. Literally all I want to know is why is my opinion being censored? And why did I have to take the comment down? I feel like it shouldn't be this hard for me to get an answer to this simple question. Leo, it's 
still not responding to me. Answer my call, Leo. Just answer. Stop being so afraid. I now have no other options but to send another text message. Yes, I have now stooped to the low life level of double texting. Boom, it's set. Since it looks like we're gonna have some free time in Las Vegas, we might as well do some gambling, right? We're playing the game. How fast will Leo delete a mayonnaise Instagram comment? This is on his rest in peace DMX post. Does the M in DMX stand for mayonnaise? Once the comment was posted, I set a timer. The comment has been posted. It is time to gamble. We've got cards one through nine. How long it will take Leo Dottavio to reach out to delete the comment? Okay, his activity status is off. I'm going with 30 minutes right here. 30 minutes? I'm throwing 100 on more than 80 and 90. I think this dude's obsessively checking his phone. 100 on 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> 10 minutes. Okay. You're running gunning, you're Good. living okay. large. Let's see. I'll put 200 on 20. Is anyone ready to cash out? I'm good, bro. 10 minutes locked and loaded right there. <laughs> I'm going 40. What if I think that he's not going to delete the comment? Then put it in the center. All right, that's my bet. Damn. Are all bets placed? Okay. Fantastic. All right, so what do we got? <laughs> we've got <laughs> three minutes so far. No change. Oh, well, it's looking bad, Brandon. I'll just skip ahead seven minutes so you can see how this plays out. Wait, wait. You're lying. The comment is gone. You're no lying. Way. Oh, wait, You're no way. No, Brandon. Wait, what's the time? What's the time? What's the time? You're lying. What's the time? No, are you serious? I don't believe you. Ten minutes. Yeah. Ten minutes and nineteen yeah. seconds. Yeah. Yeah. You're lying. Dude, show me. Show me. The comment is gone. Yeah, it's not here. Look at me. Oh. Damn. Yeah. 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 That's right, baby. Brandon, you came to Vegas. And you won big. It literally worked out perfectly. It could have worked out anyway. This wasn't even the only comedy bit that we were going to end up doing that night. Here's a clip from Leo and Danny's podcast talking about what this video is going to do for Brandon Buckingham. Yeah. Brandon is going to get some sunfish. He's going to get a lot of sunfish action. For all of you guys out there that aren't hardcore Danny Mullen fans, this is Danny's way of saying he's going to use his hardcore fan base to completely cancel Brandon off YouTube. There was only one problem. What Danny doesn't know is that Brandon is actually a world-class UNO player. Yeah. UNO reverse! Yeah! Brandon has now reversed Danny's entire fan base back on him with just one UNO card. Let's review some of the top comments of Danny's video. Leo is the type to steal your wallet and help you find Leo it. Leo deleted his dumpster fire man. Man. Leo's no Danny Mon you Leo 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 Oh my gosh, these are coming in so fast. The negative comments were flowing in at such a fast pace that Leo he took down his rebuttal video. However, I was smart and downloaded it before it got deleted, so uh, here's some of the highlights. Go do heroin again. Yeah. Remember when you were suicidal? I would never want to fucking hurt your little feelings, you suicidal fucking weirdo. Anyways, with the way things are going, I'm actually not afraid of having a regular opinion anymore. I guess if doing the right thing means I'll have my career ruined, I'm gonna repost the comment. <laughs> Leo threatened me to take down my last comment or Danny Mullen would completely ruin my career. But now I'm overdoing the wrong thing just for some extra clout. So here's the original comment. Back up. Yo, I was honestly scared I saw you put this out. But it actually ended up being pretty funny. Can't wait to see how Danny responds. I know that Leo's probably eventually gonna publicly come out and say that he didn't directly threaten me. So to cover myself, I edited the comment to make sure it was 100% true. But the vibes are good. Everyone's happy. You know, this is where I would typically pop one of my confetti cannons off to celebrate. But Kegel Weagle actually popped the only confetti cannon I had left yesterday. What the heck, Kegel? So instead, we decided to sneak into a janitor closet and steal all the hotel's toilet paper. Let's celebrate with an epic hotel room toilet paper fight. This is perfect, dude. Fuck it! Oh, it's all good, buddy. It's all good, good buddy. Hey, like, it's gonna look bad for you if you don't respond. There's only one way to get Leo's attention now. I'm too good to copy. Like, you can, you can try. That's fucking right. But it's, it's true, though. We are going to attempt to copy your final bit that you do every single time you come to Las Vegas. Let me go in the water. Really? Yeah. Hold it. And we're gonna do it way better. Oh, oh, no! What are you doing? It says no swimming! 
fuck Leo and fuck Mayo Boy Mullen. But the comedy gold of us jumping in the fountain isn't over yet. And no, we're not just gonna flee the scene. We better flee. We're actually gonna do the opposite of fleeing the scene. We're gonna turn ourselves into the cops. I just like to turn myself in. But the plan worked. We got Leo's attention. Leo posted my YouTube comment to his Instagram story. He also uploaded his text messages as proof that he never threatened me. But you know what, Leo? That's debunked in three words. It's a phone, okay, four words, five words. It was a phone call. Boom, yeah. debunked. Even though all of Leo's evidence has been easily debunked, I was still getting a few hate messages on Instagram because if you look at my Instagram story, I have no proof. So to take back my winning spot, I uploaded a picture of cheese to my Instagram story as solid proof that Leo did in fact threaten me. What you don't realize is debunking my evidence now takes six words. It is a picture of cheese, which now technically makes my evidence harder to debunk than Leo's. I could have posted these screenshots of Leo threatening all these other content creators, but I think the cheese speaks for itself on this one. We decided to call Leo one more time before crossing the border back into California. Of course, Leo had still decided not to answer. But what Leo doesn't know is that Brandon taught me a thing or two about playing Uno while we were in Vegas. First, I was the one being threatened to lose my entire YouTube career if I didn't do what Leo wanted. But now that the green Uno reverse card has been played, show him the Uno reverse card. Okay, pan back up to me. I am now threatening the entire YouTube career of Danny and Leo unless they do what I say. How am I going to completely ruin Leo and Danny's YouTube career? I am starting a GoFundMe. If you are a Danny Mo fan and you want to contribute to this GoFundMe, the link is in the first line of the description. I'm going to use every single dollar donated on my next video, which could very well end Leo Dottavio and Danny Mullen's YouTube career once and for all. After hanging out with Brandon in Vegas, I now see the trauma that he's been experiencing for the last six months. Brandon was actually starting to have suicidal thoughts because of the situation, and now Leo is using this to mock him. Remember when you were suicidal? I would never want to fucking hurt your little feelings, you suicidal fucking weirdo. Now I say it's time that we all team up together, whether you're a big time content creator or even if you're just a fan. So on top of the phone call, I now have a list of demands. They need to all be accomplished by, what's a good date guys? Let's do Monday. Okay. I need this done by- well, tomorrow's Monday, shoot. We can't do tomorrow. Someone Google April calendar 2021. The final decision is that this list of demands needs to be completed by April 19th, 2021. Demand number one, give Brandon the apology that he deserves. This apology must be public and have a sincere rating of at least 8.5 on a scale ranging from Leo Dottavio apology to Ellen DeGeneres apology. Yeah. Item number two, for punitive damages, I want a 30 second video uploaded to the main Danny Mullen channel where Danny Mullen is sexually covering himself in mayonnaise while wearing a Speedo to the song of My Pony by Genuine starting at the 48 second mark when the drop hits. I can provide the Speedo and the DJ if needed. And you have to title it, I Love Mayonnaise. If you meet both items on my list of demands, I will return all the money back to the fans. We got Pop the Confetti Cannon off. I locked the truck. I don't have any shoes. Answer Benjamin's request or else. The fate lies in your hands, Danny. I just have one piece of advice to give you. Make sure that you never. And those are my requests. Put out your hands so I can gavel it. 